Hello and welcome to another recording on the mental game. Um, so look at this. I learned this at least by my experiment that if one advances confidently in the direction of his dreams and endeavors to live the life which he has imagined, he will meet a success unexpected in common hours. Henry Div David Thoreau, I love this quote because it tells us that we are in charge of what we create. Um, and here's what happens with, um, with our sporting mental game. Um, when you turn up to this external stimuli, which is a soccer game, um, what happens is this, your flywheel starts spinning in your brain. It's like having a, um, a fidget spinner and it just starts spinning and away you go. And this spinning is from past stories, um, old experiences. And so it creates in you the same emotional setting, the same um, behavior as you've had before. So if you believe that you can't do something on the soccer field, or you, be, you, you believe that you'll miss a goal, or you're not quick, or something's going on, it's exactly how you will show up in the game in front of you, because the brain goes to the past. Um, two things will change um, this spinning wheel time. Um, and you haven't got that at the beginning of the game, if you think about it, or your um, uh, confidence and bravery to actually interrupt the flywheel. When the flywheel is spinning, right, the only thing that will stop that is time, or if I stop the, fl the flywheel, nice and simple. Um, so what we want to do is we want to deliberately interrupt the old thinking and the old patterns and the old routines to change and grow and evolve into your best self. Um, but doing this requires uh, effort, courage. Um, there's this, you've got to step into this unknown and it's got to be a deliberate act of change and possibility. Here's what happens when you're sitting there on the sideline of a soccer field, you are looking into the future at a game. The brain doesn't know what's in the future. And so it creates this cloud of confusion, right? The brain is looking into confusion. Brain does not like confusion. That's the last thing it wants to do. It wants clarity and understanding and certainty. So to try and create something in our future, it goes backwards to our past. Failures, victories, fear, memories, anxieties, stories, unmet expectations. This is what it's looking at. And it creates those stories to bring it into the present to create the behavior that it will create for the future that it knows. So every time you step onto a soccer field, a new soccer field, you're creating past experiences and bringing it into that moment. Um, so what we want to do, visualization is great for this. We want to create an ideal future. We want to create that in our mind. Our mind doesn't know the difference between a visualization and an actual experience, which is why professional athletes visualize so much and know the benefits of it. But it also creates a new emotion for us. And it's our emotions that create actions. And if our actions then create our outcomes. And so thinking creates a set of emotions. So here's that in, in, in reality. If we're looking in our present at a fog of confusion, we don't want to go part back to past failures and victories and fear and all that sort of stuff. We want to visualize this down here. We want to visualize an ideal future and create a thought that in turn creates an ideal emotion. This will create a new story and plant it into our past as something that's already happened. So we can step onto that field with confidence. So the flywheel is stopped by visualizing the perfect ideal game and then thinking of the emotion we want to feel. Most people, when they, they step onto a soccer field, want to feel confident. So my challenge to you is what thought will create a feeling of confidence? I will play with effortless ease. Um, I am a, a fast forward. I have skill, whatever it is, we've got to think of that thought. Um, so as you're sitting at this crossroad of change, right, it's not about leaving the past behind us because we can still learn from our past, but how do we build onto that, um, embrace the change that's in front of us and then 
um, create strength in knowing we are good enough. It all comes back down to creating a visualization of your ideal future. Slightly over five minutes there. Sorry for the long video. Um, look forward to catching up on your next one.